everybody welcome back to my channel it's phil back with another video on the cb 1100 today i'm going to show you how to adjust your drive chain and make sure it has the perfect amount of slack in there um, i was actually driving down the road and this guy pulled up next to me and said hey man your chain's pretty loose i ride too and i saw it kind of jumping around in first gear so not a good sign i already checked it and it's way too loose so i'm going to show you how to tighten it so first thing on the cb 1100 is you want to put it on your center stand to get an even measurement and then we want to loosen the axle bolt right here, which is a 22 millimeter. So we're gonna loosen that on both sides, not take it off, just loosen it, and we'll go from there. Also, put your bike in neutral. So one side, you're gonna have the 22, 22 millimeter nut. Somebody's enjoying their day. So one side, you're gonna have the 22 millimeter nut and on the other side, it's a 27. So just make sure you got them both. I think you could probably do with just loosening the 22 because it, it pulls onto the other side, but just note 27, one side, 22 on the other. So now that we've loosened that, we want to start tightening the tension, I believe they're tension bolts, uh, and you want to tighten them evenly on both sides so we can get this axle to come back a little bit. And then we want to keep an eye on the chain and keep measuring. The ideal slack that the owner manuals calls for is from 25 millimeter to 35 millimeter. So we're at like the 65 millimeter, which is not good. So let's go ahead and give it a good couple tightens. Now you want to make sure you count these so you can keep it even on both sides and this is kind of your guide. I'm going to show you how to measure this as well. So you want to put your tape measure right onto the swing arm here, flushed up, and then you want to measure to the center of one of these links. You pull down and you get your measurement and then you push up and you get your measurement and then you subtract the big number from the small number and you get your slack so for me i pull down i'm right about at six centimeters and then we can go up and we're right about at three so the difference there is three centimeters which is 30 millimeters which is right smack in the middle of where we want to be. So this is perfect. Let me show you how to tighten this um, to make sure that you now don't lose your spot. And for me, I'm pretty much right in the middle of the green there. Obviously the green, they're trying to indicate where the ideal range is. So it makes it a little easier. So put your rag uh, right onto the top of the chain here and then kind of move your wheel back to just put some more tension on your tire. And now you want to tighten your bolts to the uh, specification. Use your torque wrench and tighten these bolts. Uh, the owner's manual for me says 69 pounds. So we're going to tighten that on both sides with the 27 and the 22 millimeter. So let's do that. Now, undo your little self-tighten. And now we wanna give it another check. Make sure that that didn't move. And make sure we're still in the 25 to 35 range.
see I actually went back and tightened a little more I ended up just being at the 35 range so ideally I kind of want to be in the 30 range so I just tightened it again did it back and I was measuring at 55 millimeters to 25 millimeters which is right at the 30 millimeter slack so perfectly done pulled the rag out got this tightened to 69 pounds of torque and uh that's it, we're all set. And just the one tip, you wanna tighten the 27 millimeter bolt first, because if you try to tighten this one, it just spins. So you gotta tighten the 27 millimeter on the other side first, uh, which will tighten your axle and then you can tighten this one down to the rest. So thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys learned something out of this. Let me know in the comments if I screwed something up, or did something wrong, I'm here to learn as well. So happy riding, happy Thanksgiving. Make sure you like and subscribe. Appreciate it guys. Don't forget to check out my coffee company, Retro Racer Coffee. We have amazing blends. We got our signature house blend. It's a medium dark roast. We have our espresso blend, my favorite for espresso lovers. And then our all new Bali Blue Moon, which is a dark roast. Um, you're gonna love them all. Use code PhillyJ at checkout for a little extra discount. And um, thanks so much for the support.